Who why you no game? Valis, warrior of the phantasm. Hello out there, all you wonderful people. This is Andre, the game I did guy. Thank you very much for lending me your time and your ear and listening into another Why You Know Game episode. And this time I'm talking about a very, 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 very beloved series from my youth. And that is Valis, the Phantasm Soldier series. And <clears throat> I've, I've been on this theme with the, these fantasy type games as of late. Um, but I, I, fantasy games are a huge thing right about now. And um, I know currently Namco Bandai are the license holders for the series. They're, they've made mobile game, made a mobile game, a couple of them, that came out not too long ago. And I might actually look into those because Valis series itself has always been good. Like, no matter what platform you've played it on or, or the differences between the versions, it's always been a good series. All the games are good. Like, they're, they have action, they have platforming, then there's, like, a deep story to them. Like, you always have, you're always playing with this girl who's gone through some sort of fucking tragedy. And, I'm like, I want the series to return to form. I want this to come back to being on either a home console or even put it on handheld. I, I want this series to 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 graft itself back to that market. And <clears throat> and I look, I am a fan of the series. Sid of Val Sid of Valis is actually Valis two. This is this is a remake of Valis two is a, um, a like a cheap the original Valis two had more adult looking, normal human esque characters Whereas this went for a more cartoony, chibi look. Um, Valis 3. Loved this game when I was younger. I still love it. It's still fucking awesome. It's still amazing as fuck. I play this every now and again. It's still a great game. Uh, and Super Valis 4 is another one. Well, this I would go back to, but I need a new SNES. <laughs> I either need to get a, a, ret a Retron or get a new SNES. I might actually pick up like a, 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 a Superboy, the Superboy, the portable SNES, because I can't really play anymore. <laughs> I can't play my Super Nintendo games because my SNES actually burnt out. That's how much I played my SNES. It burnt the fuck out, which is odd because I played my Genesis just as much. My Genesis never burnt out. But then again, I ended up with three Genesis, but that's beside the point. One of them has a power button that doesn't want to fucking slide right, so... Maybe that's <laughs> maybe that's the that that's the equivalent to my current Super Nintendo. I need to get another one though. I really do because I I want to play my fucking games. And let me get back to my point that I've been sidetracked from. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to try to remember everything off the top of my head about the characters' names and stuff because I I, I haven't really looked into it. The bad thing is usually when I want to talk about Valus before I would do a video, I would go and just, like, do a quick refresher and read up everything that I've already read, or I'd pop the game in real quick and play it for a little bit. But, um, I didn't do that this time. More or less, because I don't, I don't feel like I have to. I, I really don't feel like I have to, because I've already talked about it a bit. Um, what I would love to see it is is Namco Bandai go back over all of the different unique versions of Valus one through four, um, Nick's Valus X because that shit was a nasty ass fucking hentai game that I think should never have fucking happened for the series. So fuck Valus X completely. Nick's that shit like it never existed. <laughs> um, I think they should look at all of the different versions of Valus one through four. And take the unique features of each one of those games and make them like the complete version of each of those games. Even though I know Sid of Alice has a chibi look and I wouldn't want that for the the series, it did have some power ups and things and items that were not in Valus 2 beforehand. So I think by incorporating all that stuff they can make an overall better version of what they can make an overall complete version 
of the games that have already been out. Um, take the first, first Battles, for example, on the NES, which is weird that it even ended up on the NES in the first place, I think that came out... Like, that version of Alice came out after the 16-bit versions. Um, which, the 16-bit versions, I think, were on DOS and uh, TurboGrafx-16 and, and, and um, the Sega Genesis at the time. The original... The NES version of Alice has, like, a complete... Uh, one whole complete section that is not in any of the other versions of the first Valis game, and it also it gives you a bit of a, a bit of um story building with that section where you're playing with the the lead character, and she's out just running around like I think she's like I think is is during her awakening to be the phantasm soldier. I can't. I don't know for sure because I've never played that version of it, and I've, I, I don't know much about that. I just remember reading up about it and um, seeing a few videos on it. So I kind of wonder if, Nam, if they could take that and put that into, like, just like do a whole new game, build it from the ground up, but take that element. And add it into the formula and, and all of the different other things that worked with those games. With with that particular game, like those versions of that game. Because I think that game got like remade constantly. For diff It got ported a lot. <laughs> it got ported a lot up until like 1990. And I think it came, the original came out in 1986. So, um, I, could, I would love to see that happen. Especially with being that, um, I think Valus 3 is the only one that doesn't have multiple different versions. I think all of the different versions of Valus 3 are actually consistent. <laughs> so I don't know if there's much that you could really change there other than like adding in, um, cutscenes and, and adding in, like adding in animated cutscenes and giving the, um, story, fleshing the story out a little bit better. But I wouldn't want to change the story, I would just flesh it out. Like, that's about as far as I'd go with that. Um, and, uh, Super Valus 4 is not the original version of Valus 4, because there was a Valus 4 for, um, Turbo Graphics 16, or, or no, was it, um, no, that, yeah, I was, that's Turbo Graphics 16 PC Engine, same shit, uh, <laughs> I wasn't thinking, I was like, hold on, something's not right here, no, um, which the original version had a, an additional character that you could choose to play with that was kind of cut out of the Super Valus version, but Super Valus had better visuals, and like, uh, there was a, I think there was an additional area that was added to it. The uh, HUD was streamlined to make it a little bit easier to read and understand and all that type of shit. So, there, there's things that they could take from each one of the different versions of these games, like I've said, and make better, complete versions of those games and put all that shit together in like one hugely amazing fucking compilation and i would love to see that i i i'm like i've got to have that i've like i've got to play that and i, I want to see that i want to i want to understand how these things went down and i want a, a a better revised story which they have a manga for it that came out what was it 2008 that they could use as the basis. So I'm like, all the pieces, all of the pieces are right here. It just, Manamco Bandai, please. <laughs> like, you got, y'all gotta do this. Y'all have to do this. Like, give Valis the proper treatment it deserves and let it thrive the way it should. I, I I so want to see the series come back. I want to be able to play it again. I want to re-experience all of it from the ground up. I, I would love to... If, if I had the choice and I personally could get my hands on the license to this game, 
Oh, you best believe Valus would come back and it would be a brand new series and that shit would hit hard. <laughs> so, um, I, I just personally, personally, really personally, would love to see it come back. And I don't think that there's necessarily a reason it doesn't, it can't. Outside of like some licensing issues, which are possible because of how old the game is and stuff like that. How old those games are, I, I could see that possibly happening, but I don't really think it's... I don't think it makes it impossible. I just think it makes it a bit inconvenient. And that's why I was so love to see the series come back. Um, I, I would be ecstatic. <laughs> uh, like, I, like, come on. Namco, ma'am, please give give me give me more. I, I need more. I need more of these. I need more of this series. Give me more. You you guys have you have the licensing. Give me more. Put your teams on developing these games, and give me more. <laughs> oh shit! I, I need to stop. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.